planning and praying for a new elementary building for years and years. And we have completely outgrown our campus on Old Peachtree Road, and we are so excited about expanding for the benefit of this community and to offer a Christian education to more families in this area. Dear Lord, thank you all for allowing us to be here today for this groundbreaking ceremony. You have blessed HCA in so many ways. We are so thankful for our loving teachers, faculty, and staff. I'm so excited. We can't wait to see what God's doing for us in the next few years. This has been something we've been talking about for years. Uh, it's finally happening. I mean, it's great to see it actually come to fruition, to see God's blessing on, on Hebrew Christian Academy and, and uh, all the students. It's just really awesome. A dream that just started being discussed some 17 years ago. And when we saw a picture recently of the elementary buildings, it just brought tears to my eyes of uh, just joy and thankfulness in my heart. Just to get to enjoy the new technology that's going to come with this building and to just be able to get on the floor with our kids more and have our desks be able to be moved around. I just cannot tell you how excited we are to be in this new place. Some of those very modular units is what we'll call them that I went to school some 25 to 30 years ago were put together to form the current facilities that you guys are all studying in today. So I say it's high time that we move on to something new because I know those things are tired. We'll have all of Hebrew Christian Academy in one location. The younger children look up to the older grades and I think having them all together is a great idea and a great thing and I applaud everybody that's involved. Ready on three. We had a great turnout. All of our kiddos came to join us and they're excited about the new school that they're going to be able to occupy this time next year. It's two stories and it's now really you have an elevator. I think it's going to be great. It's going to be a quite bigger and I'm happy that it's just going to be one building and not an entire campus so that the teachers don't have to run around. Let's say there's a copier over here that doesn't work. They don't have to run to another building to get to the other copier that does work. They can just go to another room that's already in the building. Does the parking lot come from there and then the direction of the school will be facing that intersection. We will have our own regulation sized gym that includes a stage area for fine art. And since we're a two-story building, we're going to have an elevator. So there's a few more details that we are going to be adding to this building. But we pray that 12 to 15 months, we will be moving in. The entrance is right there. The, the parking lot will basically be in this large grass area here where we are. Yes. Or just on the other side of that ditch is where the building will be. You, you guys will be the fifth graders in there next year. I've been personally involved in all the buildings here on campus since 2002. Before my wife and I got married, we actually built the building. We decided that we wanted our kids to come here, and throughout history, now she teaches second grade. So I have a third grader and a sixth grader, and they're all excited about getting in the new building next fall. As we celebrate this day, I pray that we will continue to dream big and everything that is accomplished on these grounds and in these buildings, may it be only for His glory.